Hey everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this one. A team of researchers from the National Institute of Standards and Technology and the University of Maryland has developed a technique for storing images in a cloud of atoms. The technique involves using lasers to manipulate rubidium atoms. This animation shows the image of the NIST logo, which the team was able to store in the vapor of atoms. This is only a first step, of course, because the atoms in the rubidium vapor are always in motion. The team was only able to store the image for about 10 milliseconds. It's hoped that studying the behavior of these atoms will yield valuable data necessary for designing and building quantum computers. Next up, researchers at the University of Pennsylvania have engineered T cells that will attack cancer cells while sparing normal healthy cells. The T cells, called CARs after the proteins they express, chimeric antigen receptors, work in pairs, each targeting a separate antigen commonly found in tumor cells. Trials conducted using mice indicate that CARs will only attack cells where both antigens are present, which places cancer, not healthy tissue, in the crosshairs. Finally, listen to this. We've all seen that famous temperature map that represents what the cosmic microwave background radiation looks like. And in fact, I'm about to show it to you again in just a second. But this that you're hearing right now is a representation of what that cosmic microwave background radiation sounds like. John G. Kramer, professor emeritus of physics at the University of Washington in Seattle, synthesized this audio using the recently released CMB data collected by the Planck spacecraft rendered in sound using the computer program Mathematica. The sound you're now hearing represents 760,000 years of early cosmic expansion, the birth cries of the universe. Scientists store data in a cloud of atoms. Researchers develop cancer-targeting T-cells that spare healthy tissue. And a physics professor from Seattle synthesizes the sound of the echo of the Big Bang. That's the good news. Thank you very much.